All right, what's going on, guys? Um, so I have a friend um, that just questioned on how to set up the shamans for the one defense um, setup, uh, meaning you only kill one at a time, and you basically throw a shaman in a safe spot while blocking the other two with a main account. So right now, this is the main account. Uh, I'm not even going to uh, load in the other account, but I'll show you basically how this is done here. Forgot to add this in here, but um, just the location. There's the Karen Castle. Here's the Inferno Teleport on the Xerox Talisman. This is the canyon, the Lizardman Canyon that we will be um, killing the shamans at. So first, first things first, I'm going to pray range. Um, you want to make sure that you tag the shaman that's south, right? So let's go ahead and tag him so we know that's the one we'll be killing on the hardcore or one defense account, whatever. So um, this little shaman, this little lizard here, uh, along with this one, they will get lured with the cannon sometimes. So that's why I'm trying to, I'm going to aggro these as well. So I have these two lizards and then two of the shamans. Basically, you want to get these two shamans to jump on top of each other right here on this square. Um, as soon as that, you want to, you want them to be stacked. You don't want them to be piled on each other like back to back. You want them to be on top of each other for this to work. Um, basically, 100% like no issues. Uh, like, see, this is not okay. This is not what you want. It's not what you want. And now I'm gonna have to deal with this other shaman. Okay, so that one jumped. Perfect. So this is exactly how you want to set up those two aggroed on you. I'm going to come and then just stand on this corner, right? And that's literally it. So you have both of these shamans safe spotted, and then you have this one free. So um, I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording here. I'm going to bring my, uh, probably just my main account, and then I'll show you how to set this up over here. All right, so this is the alt account. Um, I'm gonna take it. I'm just gonna stay on this east side, this northeast side. We're gonna get around here, and we're actually gonna move this cannon. I don't like the spot that it has it marked at. I don't think that's the single spot. So I'm actually gonna bump it back one more, and then place it right here for now. I might adjust this, and I'll make sure I make an edit on that. And then also, I gotta make sure I pull the right shaman, which. And I'm right clicking on the other account, it's the bottom one, so we're gonna try that. Which that was the correct one. So now that it's basically set up in the safe spot, I'm gonna kill it. We're gonna watch it respawn, and I'll show you what we do from here. And the cannon should be set up in the correct spot. No Dragon Warhammer, Sag. All right, so the main thing is you don't want this cannon to attack either one of these shamans you have set up in the safe spot. If that happens, that ruins your entire lure. So now that shaman should be respawned here on the next cannon rotation, it's gonna come our direction, and it should automatically get um, blocked right here on the corner. Um, if the cannon is in the right spot, then it should shoot it one time which it's not. So we're gonna adjust that cannon one more time so I can give you guys the correct safe spot. Now there is a chance that off the spawn that he spawns like over here and just walks this way and then when your cannon lures him that this, he'll basically end up jumping on you. There's about a, I wanna say like a 3% chance that that can actually happen. But to really avoid that, all you have to do is like whenever it's luring the shaman, just step two squares to the left and then that should not happen at all. But again, we're gonna adjust this cannon to where this is perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording here while I adjust that. Also wanna add in here, guys, uh, make sure that you're using a crystal bow or a bofa or a longbow. Uh, you can't use a rune crossbow on rapid. Uh, it needs to be a long range weapon. I think it needs to be at least nine tiles. I believe, I could be wrong on that, but it needs to be at least uh, nine tiles. I'm just adding this in here um, for you guys. 